The Spanish guitar is a piece by William Gillock. It comes from this book here, a great collection of pieces that explore the music from different parts of the world. This one is heavily influenced, of course, by the music of Spain and in particular Andalusia down in the south. Um, if you'd like to work on it, I've produced an online course and I invite you to follow that through with me. It's a piece that's in compound time. So we have an opportunity to explore that. You know, what is compound time? How is it notated? The piece is also part of the thing that makes it so Spanish is its use of the Phrygian mode. It's a modal piece, sometimes the Phrygian dominant mode. So again, we look at all those details as well as, of course, the articulations, the phrasing, the dynamics, all these things that make the music so characterful and interesting. And I take you through all of that too. Let's have a look at part of the course. I've already introduced the piece and explained compound time. And here is the little section where I introduced the very opening section. Now that we've got a good handle on compound time and some of the rhythms that we're going to encounter in this piece, let's have a good look at the music and make a start. Our right hand is going to be on that E there. We're going to play loudly and confidently. We've got accents to think about and staccatos. And I think it's good, if we can, to put those in straight away from the start. Let's get it all, all right from the beginning. So nice and steadily with me um, after three. One, two, three. And on that last note, we have a pause. We're going to want to hold on to that and enjoy the sound of the chord that's going on there too. So there's a lot of detail in the articulation and the phrasing there, isn't there? I've already mentioned those accents and staccatos at the start. And then each beat is linked up, played legato, isn't it? And we have a very strong sense of where the beat is. Remember those red notes from our exercise before? We really feel the beat very strongly. Should we play it one more time? Play, play it with me. Second finger on the E. Okay, I'm counting three quavers before we start. One, two, three. And that's accompanied by these left hand chords. That's called in root position E major triad. That's to set the tonality, set the scene for us. And we've got that one followed by that more crunchy sound. And we know that a dotted minim is worth two beats, and a dotted crotchet is worth one beat. So nice. And I think this course and the others that you'll find there too will be ideal for self-learners. You're learning at home on your own piano and you need a little bit of help. Or perhaps you have a teacher, but you'd like a bit of extra support on this piece. Perhaps your child is learning this piece. Perhaps you're learning this piece um, with another teacher. This could supplement and support the work that they're doing too. Let's now have a listen to my performance of the piece and um, I'll say goodbye at this point. Thanks for being with me. Take care. Bye bye for now.
the great peace. I hope you've enjoyed this course. If you have encountered any questions along the way, do use the comment section down below so we can talk and I can hopefully help further if you have any things you want to ask about. Enjoy, above all, your piano practice. Take care. Bye-bye for now.